Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Opta IoT PLC Quick Start Ladder Logic. Now every Opta PLC comes with the ability to be programmed using the professional series Arduino PLC IDE, the Arduino Pro. This is designed to implement industrial machine control functions and programming, including ladder logic. The Opta hardware is also designed to support industrial voltages. This quick start guide will show you how to wire, initialize, license, and write your first ladder logic program in the Opta IoT PLC. A proximity sensor will be wired to the first input of the Opta PLC. Ladder logic will be programmed the controller to turn on the first relay output when the proximity sensor is activated. Let's get started with this Opta quick start. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Wiring the Opta IoT PLC, installing an input device. Reviewing the data sheet for the Opta IoT PLC, we can see that the voltage supply will be at 24 volt DC. The inputs will be discrete on off, so they're switching to plus DC voltage. Since the controller input common is at zero volts DC, this is a syncing input. Now we have discussed wiring of NPN and PMP three wire sensors prior. And we will be wiring the CK1002H capacitive proximity sensor. Now this sensor can be wired NPN or PNP. In a particular case, this will be a PNP type or output so that we can wire to our input. Now the box that you see in the diagram is the load and our Opta PLC input will be the load for the sensor. Our output relays are individually isolated from each other. In our quick start example, we will activate the relay and the LED light on the Opta to indicate it is on. Connection to the Opta IoT PLC. After you have installed the Arduino PLC ID software on your Windows 10 or newer software system, call up the programming software using the icon create on your desktop. Select a new project once the Arduino PLC ID splash screen disappears and the program has started. Using the icon or select new project from the file menu. Enter the name of the new project. The directory where your project files will be stored can be changed. Our target is Opta 1.0, which is the default selection. Select OK. The Opta configuration will now be displayed. You may have to scroll down to the right to see the options. To the right under status, it tells you to please connect to the target. We can connect to the Opta IoT PLC to our computer using a USB-C to USB-A cable. Plug in your cable. Now remember that not all USB-C type cables are the same. Some are just used for charging. So ensure that your cable is used for charging as well as data. Using the device manager, determine the communication port that our Opta is connected to. Scroll down within the Opta configuration window until you see the other selection. Select the port number that the Opta is connected to. Select the download button. Firmware will be downloaded to the Opta, turning this controller into a PLC. A warning message will be displayed, select OK. The PLC IDE software will compile and transfer the sketch to the program. The output window will display the progress of your operation. Click the connect to target icon on the main menu to confirm your connection to your Opta PLC. If a license has not been activated for this Opta controller, you will see that you have a license message under the status heading. Select the Activate PLC Runtime option and follow the prompts to activate your PLC runtime. Make sure you disconnect the power to your Opta controller and USB cable before proceeding. Once you have restored power and reconnected the USB cable to the controller, click the Refresh button in the status area. 
your Arduino Opta IoT PLC is now ready to start programming. Configure the tags. The first thing to do after ensuring that we have communication and the license is active is to assign tag names with the physical inputs and outputs of the Opta PLC. In the workspace window, select the resource tab at the bottom. In the resource tab under local IO mapping, select programmable inputs. We can now assign a variable to call these inputs. Name the first input, which is I1, Prox1. This will be a digital input type Boolean. The eight inputs can be Boolean, on off, or analog, which gives you a range. This is selected under the heading of type. Select the relay outputs under the local IO mapping. Name the first output, which is 01, relay 1. Assign the name of light relay 1 to the first LED output light. This will be used to indicate when our relay is triggered in our program. We also assign the variable run light to the green LED in the controller. This will indicate that the operator that the PLC is running. Select the project tab. You will see the variables that we have just assigned to the project list. Tasks and what they do. To access the tasks in your project, navigate to the project tab and locate the task folder. Expand the folder by clicking on the plus sign next to it. The tasks are categorized into fast, slow, background, and INIT, or initialize. To configure the task, right click on any of the four task folders and select task configuration. Your programs will be executed within the designated task folders. The fast task folder will execute our program cyclically every 10 milliseconds, 100 times per second. This can be changed by changing the set period to yes. You can then enter a value in the period column in milliseconds. The majority of your programs will be placed in this folder. The slow and background task folders will also scan cyclically. They are both set at a fixed period of 100 and 500 milliseconds. That's 10 times per second and two times per second. These tasks are ideal for functions like math equations, etc. The INIT or initialize task folder sets variables or conditions in the PLC after it first powers up. It will run for a single scan. Opta Basic Ladder Logic Program. To start a new program, right click on the project name and select New Program under the Add heading. You can also do this by clicking on the project name and from the main menu, select Project, New Object, New Program. The new program window will be displayed. In our example, we are using a ladder diagram, LD. Select LD, name the new program ladder and assign it to the fast task folder. Select OK. Our new ladder program will now be displayed in the work area. It will contain a single rung with an input and output condition. This program also appears under the fast task folder and under the project as a ladder diagram symbol. The ladder diagram bar icons can be displayed using the main menu, view, toolbars, LD bar. As you will discover, multiple ways exist to move around and enter your program. You will now see the ladder toolbar icons displayed. Since we are connected to the Opta PLC, we are in edit mode and the code differs from the PLC IDE and the controller. This is because we just added the ladder program. Right click on the rung number will bring up a menu to add, delete, copy, or document the rung. Selecting the contact and right clicking will allow you to cut, copy, delete, change, or add additional contacts. Selecting the output contact and right clicking will allow you to cut, copy, delete, add, or view the properties of the output. You will notice as you select the elements on your ladder logic, the LD toolbar also actively displays the options available. As you highlight the toolbar icons, it will show you a quick key sequence for the item. Programming or ladder logic with Opta.
Double clicking on the input contacts in rung 1 will display the properties window. You will see that you can change the contact type and the contact name. Select the three dots to the right of the name. This will call up the object browser. Select Prox1 for our input contact. Select OK. Our proximity tag is then returned to the object properties. Select OK. The latter input contact is now set. Double click on the output coil in the rung. We can change the output coil contact and assign the tag to the coil in the object property window. Select the Relay 1 tag for this coil and select OK. Right click on the Relay 1 coil and select Coil. This will add another coil in parallel. Assign the tag Light Relay 1 to this coil. Right click on the rung and add a new network before this rung. A new rung will now be displayed as rung 1. Select the input contact and press delete. Assign the run light tag to the output coil. Our ladder logic is now complete. Download our ladder program to the Optic Controller. Select the download icon on the main menu. We could have compiled the project first if we wanted, but the PLC ID will prompt you to compile before downloading. This will check your syntax for errors and download our project to the controller. Select Yes. The output window will show you the status of the compile and download operation. When this is finished, the bottom right side of the software will show you that the PLC IDE and controller programs are the same. Monitoring the ladder logic and variables. Select the live debug mode on the main menu. This will highlight the inputs and outputs as the program operates. Visualization is an excellent way to ensure that your program is working correctly. Select the watch icon on the main menu. This will display the watch window. We can enter and select variables or tags we want to monitor. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to so get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.